Located outside Toowoomba in southern Queensland, Mount Kent Observatory is operated by the University of Southern Queensland for remote access observing to support astronomical education, research and outreach. Thanks to the Shared Skies partnership with the University of Louisville in the USA, Mount Kent Observatory is the southern part of a dual site observatory capable of all sky observing. Live remote observing enables someone to observe during his or her local daytime while it is night at the remote telescope. Mount Kent Observatory has a large utilities building provided by the Educational Development Group, and so the building is sometimes called the EDG. The EDG has various comforts and equipment for the observer, with the most important being this control room here and the associated equipment. From this control room, an observer can use any of the three telescopes on site, or in fact support a remote observer on the other side of the world. The equipment in this control room can also be used remotely, so that if needed, Mount Kent Observatory can be operated largely or completely without the need for someone on site. Mount Kent Observatory is part of a global trends towards telescopes that are computer controlled and have electronic sensors, and this enables them to be used remotely. It also means that many telescopes, like the ones here at Mount Kent Observatory, can in fact be used as a robot so that we can have the automated collection of data very efficiently for modern astronomy. Welcome to the Sirius Dome, and this is the CDK-20 telescope. It is a telescope with a half metre aperture, so it has a primary mirror, which is in here, of 50 centimetres. At the back of the telescope, there is a imaging camera. This camera gets used to image stars and star clusters, and we use this to do stellar photometry. Now, the cool thing about this telescope is that it is connected to the internet, and it is used as part of the Shared Skies project. So there is a telescope identical to this one, very similar to this one, in the US. And so astronomers in the US can get similar astronomy done in the Southern Hemisphere and in the Northern Hemisphere. Similarly, we in the Southern Hemisphere can use the Northern Hemisphere one just like we'd use this one. A great advantage of this telescope is that it can be used for remote observing. This means that it can be used by people on the other side of the world without having to have someone physically here at the telescope to do astronomy. Uh, what we have here is the CDK-700. This is the newest addition to the Mount Kent Observatory. It was given to us by the University of Louisville from Kentucky. This telescope itself is actually a prototype, the only one of its kind currently in the world, although it does go into mass production shortly. Um, it's a 700 millimeter aperture, which easily makes us the largest um, telescope that we have available at the observatory. Um, unlike the others, this gives us a much deeper view of the night sky. It allows us to pick up um, much fainter stars and planetary objects. In particular, uh, one of the capabilities of this telescope over said CDK-20 is that we're able to do uh, occultation readings of Pluto and other planets. Uh, an occultation being when another object moves in front of it so we can detect various um, atmospheric properties and various other physical properties of the host planet. In addition to the normal photometric imaging of all our telescopes here, the CDK-700 is also capable of analyzing spectral data from stars and their host planets. This allows us to age the stars and be able to tell their chemical compositions. In the case of planets, can actually give us an insight into the chemical composition of their atmosphere. Welcome to the Omara Dome, a dome that was named after one of the astronomers at USQ. In this dome is the Takahashi Wide Field Telescope. This telescope is a refracting telescope, so it uses lenses rather than mirrors. Attached to the back of the telescope here is a CCD camera, which we use to take wide images of the sky. Like other telescopes here at Mount Kent, this telescope is connected to the internet, so it can be used for remote observing. This means it can be used by people on the other side of the world and also people here at USQ without actually having to come up to the mountain to observe. The wide field of view of this telescope and camera allows us to take a big snapshot of the sky compared to the other telescopes. So we use it to make beautiful images of the night sky.